Portrait Artist of the Year, Season 10, Episode 5. You can find the whole episode on Prime Video. This is just a recap. And I also have to say one of my friends is on this program, so I'm going to have to recluse myself when we get to her section. All right, let's get started. And please leave a thumbs up and subscribe. Because we YouTubers, well... Wait, there are reasons. Reasons. All right, first one up is my friend. This is Hannah, and you can find an interview with her on this channel, which she was very generous to do. She, she shared her experience on the program. She found it really fun, and she entered it because she wanted to have fun, and she wanted to also paint from life, so she didn't use any devices to help her. No gridding, no... Um, camera, no iPad, nothing like that. And her career has just soared since the program, and rightly so. She works really hard. But when we get to her section, I'll, I'll recluse myself. This was, here's the next one up. These are the portraits that they do in order to be accepted onto the program. And this particular bunch on this episode is just so strong. Uh, it, it, gosh, especially compared to the recaps that we've been doing of Landscape Painter of the Year, which has been wanting to a great degree. I mean, to a degree where um, I think, well, I just stopped season six. I, I just can't recap season six anymore. I may go on to season seven. But the painting, there have been some great paintings, but there's also been some, some that are really problematic. But that's not what's happening today. I find every one of these paintings so darn exciting. It makes me wanna it makes me want to get to the easel and and do something. Um, not not necessarily something as representational, but you see how interpretive these are. We've never seen somebody do something like this with that tremendous orange patch coming out of his chest. You know, you, you can just feel what the emotion of that is from the face. Just imagine it without that orange swipe. Wow, it would still be a great painting, but, but not memorable. This is a painting that I'm going to remember for a really long time. Here's the next one. This is very dark and moody, a lot of black in this, and I do have a bias toward using a lot of black in mixes, but I really don't have any complaints. Every single one of these painters in this episode is is just terrific. It's an episode that, that nobody should miss. I mean, the quality is so extraordinary. I, you know, I'm absolutely blown away. Now remember what they're gonna do today, they can only do in four hours. They have five if they paint during lunch, but the model isn't necessarily, oh my gosh, look at that, wow. Well, that's the painter I wanna be. <laughs> <laughs> there it is, there's my holy grail. Uh, yes, that's it. That's that's how I see faces. Yeah, exactly. Um, you see, she's not painting. There, there are no lines on this face. There's no outlining on this face. She's built every single one of those forms. That's from from the color and plane changes on the face. Oh, look how complex this is. Wow, that's just looking directly at the camera. That's so impactful. Oh my gosh. Well, um, everybody should win so far. <laughs> you know, this is going to be, I, I'm always really hard on the judges and saying, you know, they do a pretty, um, I don't say they do a bad job, but I disagree with them all the time. But I would not want to be in their shoes today because this is going to be really, really, really tough. Uh, no one's heart will be broken. Hannah shared with me that that the program is a real boost to anybody's career and um, and that the atmosphere is warm and friendly. So, so I, I, it, it's all good. Uh, I take it more, probably more seriously than, than, well, obviously than I should. <laughs> I think we, we know that. And we also know this program is not about me. No, 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 no. Oh, I just realized this is somebody getting their, their hair attended to. We've never seen that before either. Now the last painter up is a tattoo artist. And it's very interesting because you can see where that could be tattoo art. But um, but it, it again, the impact of all these paintings is really astounding. 
some of them because of how complex they are, some of them because they're simple and fresh. It's just, wow, we're just really, really lucky to see all of this. And our last painter doesn't disappoint either. Now remember, we have nine painters, whereas in the Landscape Artist of the Year, we only have six. Oh, look at that. Wow. You know, with gold leaf behind the head. Ah. Well, this is the reason that I that I attempt to paint at all. This is just so inspiring to me. Right, in those pink stripes. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, as soon as I can, I want to sit down and and do something and, and um, you know, not just represent the face, but, uh, but do something with it. All right, our first one up is Josh Whittacombe. These are celebrities that sit for the portraits and they can pick one to take home with them. But that has nothing to do with the, the final judging. He is a Scottish, what, no, he's not. Um, Josh Whittacombe, oh, he's a comedian. Oh, that makes sense. I don't know, maybe as some, I guess if you're a fan, you know what that rabbit means to him. Sometimes people will bring an object that has meaning to them. And that, that can happen when someone is sitting for you too, of course. Uh, four hours in, the artists turn their easels around and we get our first look. This is the tattoo artist, so that makes sense. It's consistent with what we saw before. And it's a fairly large piece. We're going to pull back and see how big it is in just a second. It's, as I recall, it's pretty big. It's been a while since I, since I downloaded. Yeah, I see, that's really big, you know, in four hours. And that requires, that requires you using your whole arm, not just, you know, your, not just from the wrist and the hand or the elbow down. You got to use your whole arm. And you can decide whether or not you're a fan of, of that type of um, kind of precise black and white work. Um, I... It's not my preference, but he, he did a really excellent job. Boy, he must do some, love to see his tattoo stuff. I guess I have to deep dive on him. Here's the next one up. We get a real expressive view on this one, which is kind of fun. Uh, this probably was done from a screenshot, you know, uh, on, a, on a device. They're allowed to have that those devices, of course. Um, they're fairly far away from the sitter, and so, it looks like they're at least like maybe nine or ten feet away and no probably even more which which makes it harder for sure but he captured the image really nicely so good job on that uh, I I like all of these here's the next one this is very reminiscent of a winner that we had in past seasons I don't remember um, sometimes it's it's hard not to refer to what you've already seen that you know the judges have had a preference for. Um, this is beautifully done. And also, um, you know, incorporates the whole figure as well as the chair. I, I think nobody nobody put the bunny in. <laughs> Probably didn't have time. You know, you don't have much time to, to make all of these decisions. Wow, she did. She got that really relaxed pose. What a great job. Oh. Ah, oh, oh, even down to the little socks. What are they, little carrots? Little carrots or pineapples on the socks? I don't know, but that's so cute. Oh my gosh. Ah, oh, what fun painting is. You got, you got it. Just, just so much fun to do. All right, Josh is going to pick one to take home. Which one does he pick? Um, yeah, I don't remember. Oh, yes, I do. I think he, yeah, he picked the tattoo one. Wow, look at look at the guy with his own tattoos. Woo, well, do you think you tattoo yourself? Ooh, that gives me the willies a little bit. I would not want to do that. All right, let's see our next sitter. Our next sitter up is Nikki Spence, and he is a tenor. Wow, well, he he sits like, like he's a, a masterful tenor. He just came in with such a presence. Look at that. Yeah. This is, um, yeah, I think, well, I have, I have trouble with the, the orb of the head when it comes to bald people. I have to, I have to not exaggerate it to the full extent it is, is what I've learned over time. But anyway, they turn their easels around after four hours and we'll see what they've 
done and Nikki will pick one to take home. Let's see. Oh, he brought his little poodle with him. Oh my gosh. Oh, well, painting, any painting with animals in it, I'm, I'm just goo goo gaga over. Isn't that terrific? Wow. How did she do that in four hours? Well, actually, I know how she did that in four hours. You just, you come and you, you, um, you know, you, you get the job done. You just, you just do. It's real softness of edges. No building of forms, though. There's so much blending there. When there's nothing wrong with that. It's just not my preference. But you can probably see the difference, right? Yeah. Some people like that kind of smoother thing, and some people don't. Wow, look at how direct this one is. What a beautiful drawing that is. Now, this one is dependent more online, but it really, really works. Yeah, it works really well. What a, what a good composition it is, too. And, you know, they've got the stature of the person and still a relaxed pose. Wow, boy. Oh, now we pull back. Oh, he's the one who had that painting with the orange coming out of his chest. Oh, I didn't realize he had the whole kilt and all that going on, too. Oh, I've got to go find this painter. I want to see so much more from him. Oh, look at this one. This has more modeling of forms. Yeah, this is this is the kind of painting that I just really love. And it is. I think it's just the head. We'll see. We're going to pull back in a second. Yeah. Oh, see, this is my. This is the artist I want to be. Sometimes you're a dream artist that you want to be. Yep. She's my. She's my unicorn. <laughs> Because that's how, that's how I would have attempted to solve the problem. I would not have done as great a job as she did by any means. Wow, what a good job. Yeah, you got to de-emphasize how round the orb of the head is. Those, those, uh, it happens for, whether you have hair or not. It's just amazing, uh, you know, that, what an egg uh, shape a skull is. Yeah. All right, let's see which one Nikki picks. She picks one to take home. And um, let's see how lucky you are to pick one to take home and what an honor it is to be chosen. Oh, she picked the one with a poodle. Well, that makes sense because of the poodle. Yeah, but it's not the one I would have picked. All right, on to the next one. This is the last one, which is uh, with my friend Hannah in it. And this is Shirley Ballas. She is a ballroom dancer. And Hannah shared that she was uh, on her phone quite, a, not that she wasn't friendly and lovely and all that, but she was on her phone quite a bit and kind of, and not still, let's put it that way. Now, because Hannah didn't bring devi any devices, this made it particularly difficult for her. Uh, but, but she said it wasn't a, it was difficult and not difficult at the same time because she felt, you know, she came just to do the experience. She didn't come to win and she didn't come, um, with any expectations. So um, she enjoyed the experience, but, and did share that, um, I, I, let's see, uh, oh, Shirley didn't pick her painting, but I think asked for, for it afterwards, and she gave it to her. So that's, that's really nice too. All right, here's the first one up. This is quite stylized. I, I didn't expect this from the paintings that we saw from the artist to begin with. So that's interesting. Oh, it's the fellow who had that very, very black, dark painting of himself. All right, now, now it makes a lot more sense. Um, all the pieces today are quite large. That's a lot of real estate to cover in four hours. Um, he has a likeness. Um, you know, and you have to decide whether or not you really like black in your mixes. I have a tendency to feel like it dulls everything down, but it also give, creates a mood. You know, it's 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 a moody device. Here's the next one up. Um, this is the woman who had that self-portrait where she was looking directly at us on a like a mahogany bench or something. Um, wow, what a good painter she is. Oh, she put the dancing shoes in as well. That's a lot to cover. You've got the figure and the chair and then the platform and the dancing shoes. Wow. Wow. Oh, and look at how large it is. Oh boy, she can handle the final commission, no problem at all. She's, she's just a very, very fine and, and uh, accomplished painter. Look at that. Wow. 
Well, I wonder which one she'll pick to take home. I think, I think Shirley's going to pick this one. Because <laughs> for, for variety of reasons. Okay, this is Hannah's. And, you know, I said I was going to recluse myself. I'm a big fan of Hannah's work. Her name is Hannah Broadhead. You can find her on Facebook. Um, you know, she's, she paints, she paints constantly. She challenges herself. She's, she's really going places. She recently put something on Facebook about a competition she got in, which is quite, uh, uh, a, a, a big, big accomplishment to be in, in this, uh, exhibition. And I just think her career is going to take, is already taking off. I mean, I, I think she, you know, she was really surprised to be accepted and be, and start to get some of these honors. But but the truth is, um, uh, you know, I think she's already Cinderella at the ball. She's she doesn't realize how good she is, or maybe she does. Look, I, I to do that in four hours from life with a model that's moving around is just astounding to me. All right, let's see which one Shirley picks to take home. Um, well, I already gave away that she doesn't pick Hannah's, uh, but does ask for Hannah's and, and does take it. But this is the one she picks to take home. Now we're going to get to the final judging. Only three of these artists will be in the semifinals of this episode, but only one will go forward into the finals for the season. So the final judging begins. So three people will be selected out of all the nine that we just saw. Let's see who they pick. All right, it's been such a long day. You know, they've been they they've only known for a month that they're going to do this. They can't tell anybody, and it must just be an exhausting experience. So here's the first semifinalist of the day, which makes sense. You know, it's really reminiscent, like I said, of a winner that they had before. It's it's a ex all of these paintings have been excellent today. I mean, every single one. So. I'm not going to be disappointed no matter who they pick because everybody everybody deserves to go forward. But we can go to um, Portrait Artist of the Year page here. You know, we can Google it and we can follow these artists as they continue their journey. Here's the one, you know, this is kind of my dream artist, like I said, and so she's in the finals as well, and I'm glad. It's, it's you know, she came and just got really got the job done. Wow, look at that. Wow. Wow. Um, all right, so let's see. We have, I think we have one more semifinalist. We have, um, uh, yeah, that's the one I thought it would be for the semifinals. Now, I thought they would pick this one as the winner, but hashtag Joe is always wrong, because really, I, I'm always wrong on this program. Um, so I've given it away that they're not going to pick that one. All right, here we get to see the painting that they did to enter the program compared to the painting they did today. Now, of course, you, you, have, you have all the time in the world to do the painting on the left and only four hours to do the painting on the right. So there's going to be a difference. But what you're looking for is consistency of style and will they be able to handle the commission at the end, you know, the final prize. Oh, Lord, I mm, love, 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 hearts, hearts, flowers, hearts, flowers, hearts, flowers. I love, I'm, I just, I love everything this woman does. <laughs> and as soon as I finish this recap, I'm going to go and look her up because I want to know everything, absolutely everything about what she's doing. I just, just think she's fantastic and and um, someone that I want to follow and emulate. Oh, and here's our last one. Wow, so we have three fantastic semifinalists. Whoever they choose is, could handle the final commission no matter what. So when I interviewed Hannah, I didn't understand or know because this hadn't been broadcast yet how difficult the competition was going to be. Uh, but boy, she, she really had. Uh, this was one of the best um, programs that I've ever seen. All right, the winner is... Dun, 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 dun. Remember, we won't be disappointed because we love them all, but I love... Yeah, I do. I love this one. Now, I love this one from the very beginning, so it's not like I was right. It's not hashtag Joe was right, because I never am. I thought they'd pick a different one, They pick, but they picked this one. So remember to keep the whites of your paper white, your paints wet, mass for value, mix for color. Please join my YouTube channel. See you next time. Okay, bye-bye.